Hey Pisces, what's happening? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general tarot reading for May of 2022. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. This is for my Pisces out there. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. You also could be dealing with a Pisces. If it resonates, if it hits home, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. If you want a personal tower reading, all my information's in the description box. Check me out. All right, so Pisces, let's see what's happening for you guys. You could be dealing with a pass, a pa Pisces, a Pisces. <laughs> um, cross watchers, you are welcome here. All right, let's see what is happening. Pisces out there, what's happening? I'm a Pisces ascendant. <laughs> All right, so Pisces, what is the challenge for you guys? What are you dealing with? What are you working with? What's happening here, please? Ten of Swords, yikes. Ten of Swords came out in the verse, so whatever you've gone through, you've gotten through the worst, Pisces. The worst is over. It only gets better from here. So Pisces, whatever this is, this could be like a, an ending of some sort that caught you by surprise. It could have ended very abruptly. It could be a relationship or some kind of situationship. This could be some really difficult communication as well. But whatever this is, I feel like you, you're moving past it. You know, it could have really hit hard, could have been a betrayal. And it could be something you're still actively healing and letting go, purging. Now, in a recent past, Pisces, we got the world. Six of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Cups. A lot of you guys are learning how to love. You're learning that people, everyone doesn't deserve your love. Okay, there's a cycle here. There's some lessons. There's some hard lessons here that Spirit wants you to learn. And it's regarding equal give and take. It's regarding pouring into you, giving to others, boundaries. Because the King of Cups is in reverse. I feel like there's someone that you had to pull away from emotionally, maybe disconnect from. Because they were not worthy of what you had to offer. That's what it looks like to me. Someone here was breadcrumbing you. Someone wasn't giving you the equality. You know, they weren't giving you in a fair, balanced, reciprocated manner. So Pisces, give me the current energy here, please. King of Pentacles in a verse, the Two of Cups and the Justice in a verse. So we got the Six of Pentacles in a verse. We got the Justice in a verse. Could be a Libra. Or it could just be someone that just was not doing you right. Someone that was very unfair. Someone that wronged you. And that could be why you ended in the Ten of Swords here. Now, I think what made it really wrong was that all you did was love this person. Okay? Two of Cups is in reverse. All you did was love them. All you did was pour your love into them, into the connection. And I feel like this person was not ready for what you had to offer. They were not committed. They were not invested. They had the ability to do so, but they they chose not to. And that's what the King of Pentacles is about. In the reverse, I feel like there's something here that is um still not working. Okay? And I even feel like this person hasn't done anything to make it better. They haven't maybe acknowledged their wrongs or acknowledged how they came off. How they came across, how they came off in the connection. So give me the current energy for you, Pisces. Some of you have new love coming in. Oh, damn. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. So not only is it like a new relationship that is fulfilling, that is loving. This is like someone coming in and you guys taking it to the next level. This is like power couple status, right? This is like we're going to start a business together. We're in love. We're getting married, but we also got a thriving business. This is about generational wealth. This is about buying a home together. Matter of fact, building the home from scratch. I mean, there's a lot of new beginnings coming in for you, Pisces. I mean, Jupiter, isn't it Jupiter in like your first house right now? Pisces, big things. Dream, dream big, right? Because there's a lot of new opportunities coming in with love and opportunities that could really make your pockets heavy. I mean, you could be jumping a whole tax bracket here, okay? <laughs> there could be opportunities to make more money, be financially secure, be stable. This also could be something commitment related, right? 
Now, this can also be taking on a lot of responsibilities too, right? Relationships are responsibility, more money, more problems. I mean, right? So you can be taking on a lot of responsibilities, but also, you know, there's a lot of stability, a lot of opportunity, a lot of love here. I like it. In the foundation, what you're not aware of, seven of wands in reverse. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the six of wands and the eight of pentacles in reverse. I feel like there is a very strong, stable energy coming in for you. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel someone here wants to win. Someone here wants to maybe win over, win you over, um, win something back to see. This could be someone who likes to be seen, likes attention. Now, I feel like there's someone who's, whose guards are up. I don't know if your guards are up and you're kind of like, hey, you know, stay back. But I feel like this is someone that perhaps... Um, You've had history with. You've had history with. They've always still been in the back skirt or the background. Now, I feel like this also could be um, an energy of someone that is coming in for you, but you're not really seeing them yet, okay? Because you're not really invested in, um, maybe you're not looking for love. Maybe you're not really focused on these new opportunities. Maybe you're working hard at something and you don't see this opportunity coming in. So that could be why you're guarded, why you're kind of closed off. Now, as far as the outcome... Three of Swords in Verbs. So yeah, there's something that you're healing from still letting go. It is bringing still some kind of pain, hurt, um, stress, mental conflict. It's something you think about. But look who we also have, the Ten of Cups. So the sooner you let go of something that could be creating a lot of stress in your life, that is the source of stress, you could be getting to your Ten of Cups. Right? The sooner you let it go, the sooner you get to your Ten of Cups. Happiness harmony, fulfillment, bliss, okay? So, Pisces, let's jump right in. Let's get some more clarity for you guys. I love it. If you love it too, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, Pisces, Ten of Swords. What's this Ten of Swords about? Um, after a really difficult ending, we have um, movement, movement forward. King of Pentacles in verse, you can be moving away from someone here that you had some kind of, I'm getting shared assets, codependency with. This could be home, family. Maybe you have a child with this person. This person isn't providing you with any sort of source of stability. And I feel like you're realizing that. This could be that same person who betrayed you, who um, took advantage of you. Give me the recent past. We have the world and the Six of Pentacles here. There is some kind of commitment you may have had. And I feel like this commitment was not very... Um, committed <laughs> i feel someone wasn't committed to this commitment um the nine of cups is in reverse so something didn't make you happy i feel like there was a lot of desire you know to be happy you know you saw this person as someone that could fulfill you but they didn't and i feel like you may have slowly decided to move away from that person because you weren't getting your needs met and there was a lack of equal give and take I do see you guys switching a focus to work on something that means something to you. The Eight of Pentacles could be investing in your future, your money, your business, your home. This could be going back to school, working hard at something, a new craft. Um, and the tension is not on love. I mean, I, don't, I almost feel like after a bad experience, Pisces, you may have redirected yourself toward another area of your life and it's not love. It's not romance. And um, I think that's when this opportunity comes through. So give me the current energy, the Justice card and the King of Pentacles. There's a lot of regrets about maybe how something planned out. The two cups is here again. So yeah, the two cups came out twice. This could definitely be someone you consider your soulmate. You had a lot of hopes for them. A lot of, again, wishes. I mean, this is someone you had an emotional connection with and it just doesn't make sense why something didn't work out the way it should have, right? And so the five of cups, it is something you're getting past. But I also think the reason why some of you guys haven't been able to truly move past this is because... This justice in reverse, it's kind of like, well, why did it happen? Why did this person hurt me? What did I do wrong? What, what made them hurt me and all I did was give them my love? The moon, there's still answers that, well, there's still questions that have not been answered, right? There's still a lack of clarity. There's still a lack of truth. You're dealing with some of you guys, Pisces, a very deceptive person, someone that, you know, um, took you by surprise maybe you know you're very intuitive but Pisces is like you didn't see that okay you didn't see that person you didn't see that energy you didn't see their deception until it was like boom boom in your face and it was too late so with the moon there are some fears perhaps as well and it could be some fears and insecurities about you moving on to finding new love um trusting this new person coming in trusting this new opportunity is it real right because there's something from the past that is still perhaps getting in the way of you finding um, or accepting 
and receiving this love coming in. So give me the Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Whoever is coming in, y'all, Pisces, I mean, what is what is this? The magician with the four wands, you could be connecting with someone that you're going to lead. It's going to lead to marriage. I mean, the four wands is harmony, family coming together, building a beautiful home that's stable, that's grounded, that feels secure and safe. This could be expanding on your family. Um, this could be blending of families. There's a lot of unity, a lot of blessings and peace with this four wands. It could be your twin flame you're meeting. The magician, you're creating. The magician, you're turning a, a, a sad situation into a happy one, right? There is opportunity here. The magician is about you creating. You manifest what you want and make sure you manifest the hell out of your life, you know? So the magician, if there's something that you've been really wanting, set your attentions out because universe is allowing it to, to come into fruition. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, big things, right? And it's in your first house. A lot of you guys are being seen in a very positive light. Your life is blowing up in ways that you would never imagine. You're getting um, a lot of attention, right? I mean, you guys are getting promotions, whatever that Ace of Pentacles is. You're being seen and you're being seen by people who want good things for you. Big, big, good, abundant things. So I'm seeing a lot of changes coming in for you, Pisces. And the magician, you have the power to create whatever you want. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. I see a lot of good, good energy here. I love it. So let's see what's in the environment. The lovers, the nine of wands in verse, I think part of what you're going through right now is, again, I'm seeing like a big change and I'm feeling like a lot of you, you're finally meeting someone who is like your person, your other half, your soulmate, the person you're supposed to be with, your divine partner. We have the lovers and what you're having to do is make a decision and this decision could require you letting go of something. Nine of wands, give it up. Stop fighting for something that just ain't for you. Stop fighting for something that's not going to give you what you need, your happiness, your peace, the sun. And I think a lot of you guys are becoming crystal clear on perhaps a person in your life or a situation that no longer is serving you. And if it no longer is serving you, why hold on to it? Why fight for it with the nine of wands? So when you stop fighting for something and you don't give it much of your time, attention, and energy, you allow for new abundant things to come into your life. That's how it works. You make room for new opportunities. And with this Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles, there are opportunities coming in, Pisces. You just got to say yes. I love it. So I feel like the sun is giving you clarity. It's giving you hope. It's, it's giving you that optimism. Right? There's this healing coming also with the sun and clarity, direction to move forward and be victorious. You just have to say when. You have to say now. You have to say yes. You have to uh, say affirmative, right? So the Three of Swords in verse, there is some healing, letting go, releasing, purging still happening after, again, the Ten of Swords. Whatever you've gone through, it has shaped you, though. It has shaped you to be the person you are today, Pisces. So don't take any of that for granted. Nine of Swords, this is about freeing yourself, letting go of something you've been holding on very tightly to, holding on to fears, holding on to insecurities, holding on to upset, holding on to grudges, holding on to people. There's the energy of letting go because it's not worth it. It has no value. Pentacles, value, it has no value. So you let it go. And that's how you're going to make way for the Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords, the world, and the Nine of Pentacles in verse. There's definitely some kind of karmic lesson here. There's a lesson you're learning. And I think part of it is like you getting out of your head and stop overthinking this. Allow the universe to direct you forward. And I do see a partnership because you don't have to do it all alone. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing. You're getting to your Ten of Cups. It's a process, but you're getting there. You're getting there. So Pisces, that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. I hope you all have a fabulous, fantastic remainder of your week. Take care. Bye.